Good morning, folks and family. This is Raymond X, the Prophet, coming to you once again from my apartment living room. And this is the Word for Day, Part 2, for June 23rd, 2020. Today is Sunday, January 31st, 2021, at 11.32 a.m. Let's go ahead and begin with the first journal entry this morning. At, on June 22nd, 2020, at 9.18 a.m., I have declared it from the beginning, the Lord of the hosts. I have declared it from the beginning. The Lord of Hosts. Let's go ahead and begin with Isaiah chapter 46, verses 10 through 13, key verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure, calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executed my counsel from a far country. Yea, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it. I will also do it. Hearken unto me, ye stout-hearted, that are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness, it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion, for Israel my glory. Isaiah chapter 48, verses 3 through 11, key verses 3 through 5. I declare the former things to the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is an iron sinew, and thou, and thy brow brass. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee, lest thou should say, Mine idol hath done them, and my graven image and my molten image hath consumed them. Thou hast heard and see all this, and will not ye declare it. I have showed thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didst not know them. They are created now, and not from the beginning even before the day when thou heardest them not, lest thou should say, Behold, I knew them. Yea, thou heardest not, yea, thou knewest not, yea, for the time that thine ear was not opened. For I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously, and was called a transgressor from the womb. For my name's sake will I defer, defer my anger, and for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how shall my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. There, fared, there, there failed not aught good of any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. Psalm 33, verse 11. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. Isaiah chapter 10, verses 12 through 19, 33 through 34. Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his high looks. For he said, By the strength of my hand have I done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people, and have robbed their treasures. I put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. And my hand have found as a nest the riches of the people. As one gathered eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. And there was none that moved the wing, or opened the mouth, or peeped. Shall the axe boast itself against him that hewed it therewith? Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? As if the rod should shake it itself against them that lifteth up, or as a stiff should lift up itself as if there were no wood were no wood. Therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, send among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle burning like a burning of a fire. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame, and it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day. And shall consume the glory of his forest, and of his fruitful field, both soul and body, and they shall be as when his standard bearer fainteth. And the rest of the trees of his forest shall be few, that a child may write them. Behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, shall lop the bow with terror, and the high ones of stature shall be hewn down, and the haughty shall be humbled. And he shall cut down the thickets of the force of iron, and Lebanon shall fall by a mighty one. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 1. O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things, 
Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 5. Moreover, the multitude of thy strangers shall be like small dust, and the multitude of the terrible ones shall be as shaft that passeth away. Yea, it shall be an instant suddenly. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 13. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Isaiah chapter 37, verses 7, 29, 36 through 38. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and return to his own land. I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. Because thy rage against me, and thy plummel, is come up into mine ears, therefore I will put my hook in thy nose, and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest. Then the angel of the Lord went forth, and smote in the camp of the Syrians a hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed, and went and returned, and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nishrash his god, that Adram, Melech, and Shareza his sons, smote him with the sword. And they escaped in the land of Armenia, and Esarhaddon his son reigned in his stead. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of God, God shall stand forever. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 4. Who have wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first and with the last, I am He. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 4. Isaiah chapter 41, verses 22, 23, and 27. Let them bring them forth and show us what, what, what shall happen. Let them show the former things, whether, what they be, that we may consider them, and know the latter end of them, or declare us things for to come. Show the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods, yea, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed, and behold it together. The first shall say to the Zion, Behold, behold them, and I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. Isaiah chapter 42, verses 8 and 9. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 9. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this, and show his former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may, justi may be justified. Or let them hear, and say, It is truth. Isaiah chapter 44, verses 7 and 8. And who, as I, shall call, and shall declare it? And set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people. And the things that are coming, and shall come, let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told you from that time, and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. Isaiah chapter 45, verses 20 and 21. Assemble yourselves, and come, draw near together, ye that escape of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of the graven image, and pray unto a God that cannot save. Tell ye, and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who have told it from that time? Have, I, have not I the Lord? And there is no, el, no God else beside me. A just God and the Savior, there is none beside me. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 14. All ye have assembled yourselves and hear, which among them have declared these things. The Lord have loved him. He will do his pleasure on Babylon, and his arm shall be on the Chaldeans. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that go, goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Jeremiah chapter 44, verses 15, 17 through 18, and 28. Then all the men which knew their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, and Pathros, answered Jeremiah, saying, But we will certainly do whatever, whatever so thing 
goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. Yet a small number that escaped the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah, and all the remnant of Judah that are gone to the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand, mine or theirs. Hosea chapter 5 verse 9 Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel have I made known that which shall surely be. Acts chapter 5 verse 39 but if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happy ye be found even to fight against God. Okay, the next journal entry, June 22nd, 2020, 9.22 a.m. There is nothing new under the sun. All things have been done and said before. There is nothing new under the sun. All things have been done and said before. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done and that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 10. Is there anything whereof it may be said, See, this is new, it hath been already of old time, which was before us. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 12. And I turn myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly, for what can the man do that cometh after the king, even that which hath been already done? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 15. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and God requireth that which is past. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 10. That which hath been is named already, and it is known that is man, neither may he contend with him, that is mightier than he. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 10. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19 Behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 22 How long wilt thou go about O thou backsliding daughter for the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth a woman shall compass a man 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 1 But there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 and 5. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Okay, the Spotify song I have for you this morning, Brandon Lake, We Praise You, the studio version. We Praise You, the studio version by Brandon Lake. And I'll post both these links in the description box below, the YouTube video link, as well as the Spotify link for that track. The last journal entry I have for you this morning, June 22nd, 2020 at 9.33 a.m. To be the greatest at the very top, you must be a servant, a slave to all. To be the greatest at the very top, you must be a servant, a slave to all. Let's go to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 26 and 27. But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever be chief among you, let him be your servant. Matthew, chapter 23, verse 11. But he that is greatest among you, shall be your servant. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verse 35. And he sat down and called the twelve, and said unto them, If any man desire to be the first, the same shall be last of all, and servant of all. Mark, chapter 10, verses 43 and 44. But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister, and whosoever you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verse 26. But ye shall not be so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, 
and he that is chief, as he that doth serve. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 10. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. Jeremiah chapter 45, verse 5. And seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not, for behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh. So the Lord, but thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places whither thou goest. Ezekiel chapter 24, verse 13. And thy filthiness is lewdness, because I purged thee, and thou wast not purged, thou shalt not be purged from thy filthiness any more, till I have caused my fury to rest upon thee. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse 40. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him hide, have thy cloak also. Matthew chapter 18, verses 3 through 5. And said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. For whosoever therefore shall humble himself as his little child, the same as greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Matthew chapter 23, verses 8 through 12. But be, but be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Matthew chapter 25, verse 44. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when we saw thee and hungered, or thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Matthew chapter 27, verse 55. And many women were there beholding afar off, which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering unto him. The Gospel of Mark chapter 9, verses 33 through 34 and 36. And he came to Capernaum, and being in the house, he asked them, what was it that you dispute among yourselves by the way? But they held their peace, for by the way they had dispute among themselves, who should be the greatest? And he took a child, and sat in the midst of them, and when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, Mark chapter 10, verses 42 and 45, But Jesus called them to him, and said unto them, Ye know that which are accounted the rule of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verse 48. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name, receiveth me, and whosoever shall receive of me, receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. Luke, chapter 22, verse 27. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at me, or he that serveth, is not he that sitteth at me, but I am among you as he that serveth. The Gospel of John, chapter 18, verse 36. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants would fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Finally, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify song I have for you in conclusion, Upper Room, Rest on Us, the live version, Rest on Us, the live version by Upper Room. I'll post both these links in the description box below, the Spotify link for that song, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. Faith leads to joy, leads to love, leads to peace, leads to life, leads to Jesus. Fear leads to anger, leads to hate, leads to suffering, leads to Satan. All right, folks and family, that's the Word for Today, Part 2, for June 23, 2020. Today is Sunday, January 31, 2021, at 12.06 p.m. 
This is Raymond X the Prophet coming to you once again from my part living room. God bless you all today. God loves you and so do I. Remember that Jesus Christ is coming back again very, very soon. Get ready for your, his return. Once again, Jesus Christ is coming back. Get ready. This is your day of salvation, your day to repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. This is your redeeming day, your decision day. Everyone have a great week. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you again on the next video upload, if the Lord wills me so. Stay tuned for part three of this series after this video concludes. Goodbye for now. Take care. I love you all.